so welcome back everybody and today I'm gonna be in uh, 0.156 and this is Morlock's Revenge or sorry swatch number two the revenge by Morlock 13 so where do I get in uh, yeah right up top. just follow the arrows oh I see it okay I'm fl I'm coming in now yeah, I decided not to do so much of the aesthetic works as I did in the last one, simply because I just didn't care to go through all the aesthetic works. Uh, so whereabouts <laughs> do we? Where are we going? You've got some glowing arrows, so uh, yeah, yeah. The entrance is right over here. Okay, so I'm just gonna jump out. Yeah, there's a little gravity block right there at the. Uh, yeah, at the I edge. can't. I can't use it because it belongs to another faction. Oh. Hadopa herb. Oh, right, right, right. Sorry. But won't I need to fly anyway in here? Yeah, I will. I'll need to fly. Yeah, in fact, I should probably... Let's see if it'll let me do this. Alright. Haha, I've got a core! Nice. No, it's fine. i got a core. Uh -huh. Right, I'm going to come down to the... Oh, so you've made a nice little observation area here. Yep, yep. So, please explain the uh, reason for the swatch, so that, just in case people didn't see the first one. Oh, okay. Well, uh, let's see. The swatch. Uh, the first swatch was basically uh, uh, just so that people would have a, an idea of different color textures and such against different holes or different other um, backgrounds or you know uh, terrain. Yeah. And, uh, so that you can expand upon the color palette that you really have, and which I you did for um, your latest vessel. What, what was it called? Uh, Peace liner. The Peace liner. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. And to a lesser and, extent on the hero. And so um, with this, uh, since we have new blocks and new emission blocks, yep. and well expanded, and decided to do it in this form, uh, this formation inward. Yep. Uh, so we can try to keep them all the uh as much of the external light uh, out so you would yeah more of a, a proper setup and uh because of the added blocks this thing has grown to a ridiculous size <laughs> yeah i can see that okay so if you want to jump down the bottom and we'll just literally go around what's at the bottom quick do you mind yeah 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 Okay, so if you want to go to a, a particular start wherever you want and then go through them. So I guess these are terrain blocks here, are they? Uh, yeah, these are all the terrain blocks and some weapon blocks. Uh, Commission blocks. Yeah. See explosives. So, so this is uh, uh, AMC on and... the bottom. Lighting is going to be uh, power tanks, then your... Uh, oh, I see. Port. So the lighting key is in the, hit, is in, is in the corner. Yes. Right, yeah, okay. The keys in the corner, and you just kind of follow it up. Uh, it's going to so, be lava, then it's going to go to the crystals. Oh, hang on. Crystals. Let's just go around the bottom real quick, man. Mm -hmm. So basically, you've got various different types of terrain, because they obviously have different textures in different texture packs. So they're yeah. going around the bottom. So we've got all of our terrain blocks, as you can see. And I'm going to go into hull and then hardened for each color. So we've got blue, white, green, yellow, orange, which is a new one. Didn't have that before. Brown red, purple, grey, black, and then we've got glass, and we've got a few more of these decorative types, so we've got the new uh, striped blocks, the different meshes, the new medical cabinets, um, and the medical box, what was the other one called? It's medical cabinet and medical um, storage, I don't know, medical, storage. yeah, um, and then we've got all the new computer faces, um, I all think that's a shop. Is it a shop? No, no. It's on this all texture the old, pack. It's, yeah, that's oh yeah, they're uh, decorative computer decorative, decorative computer blocks. That's right. And we got another decorative panel. Yeah, they just ingots. Oh yes, of course, the ingots. Are yep. Those two. So we've got all the ingots. Beautiful stuff. Um, and then some more utility. Gravity build blocks, storage doors and power. So then going up the spine we've got power tanks, hanging lights, lava, oh and into the crystals of course. Yes. All, all the different emissive crystals. 
so many of them and then we get into lights red blue green yellow white beacon and then nothing yep and that's it because that's the top yeah, bas basically i try to uh, encompass as much as i possibly could in this particular one give a much bigger scope of everything and one so, suggestion i have yes is to take off about four or five blocks from the fronts of all of them just so that i know i know you wanted to keep them separate but i'd say a lot of it you can't see unless you're really close oh right 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 and i think it would make the whole place a lot brighter um but then again that's texture pack again because obviously i'm on pixel what are you on uh pixel as well oh you're on pixel okay yeah yeah well it still works for the purpose of a guide it's just uh you know a lot of it like i can't see so i'm gonna have to go around this so yeah, i'm gonna yeah. center on i'll probably do them three at a time and we'll go around it like this so we're gonna show off all the different colors and obviously you can see you've got all the different these are the plex lights that are currently being in use for this shot And then I'm going to go down a bit, and then we can get some more of those plex lights and the beginnings of the crystal. You can just see the lava there. I'm centered on red. So I'm going to go across again. And like I say, this wall is uh, utilities and ingots, I think, mostly. I'm going to come down again, and now we can see some of those crystal colors. So much more subdued still get a nice blend yeah that's something that uh, I've noted was uh, some of the crystals are uh, they're, they yeah they're all light emitting but some of them are very very uh, low light emitting as compared to their light counterpart mm. which is just be really bright that's good because it gives you more range it does Okay, so we're coming down centered on the lava now. Can just about see some of the crystals still. We're mostly looking at the hanging light. So you might even have to do it in twos, you know. Could go a bit quicker though. There is just so much. We'll go back up them again. And like I say, this is just one wall, so we're going to do the other three. You'll be able to see the vast number of colors that you actually have at your disposal if you use the right combinations. And some of them are quite surprising as well. You wouldn't think uh, there's a few of these. I think Ice Planet Terrain or something, someone was saying to me the other day. So let's see, what's on this side? We've got mostly terrain, explosive, uh, AMC salvage, uh, permission blocks, mostly terrain, like I say, we've got water. Is that water or ice? Uh, there should be water, yes. Okay. It's gonna look foggy. Bog and also some have uh, different, different speculars, the bump maps come into play as well. You can see some really rich colours that you've got at your disposal use some uh, down lighting or up lighting or covered lighting cool these ones are really dark these ones yeah then as we get into the terrain blocks you're seeing these really lovely red fades Got your full range there as well <laughs> That's amazing. Different purples. There we go. And um, we we'll turn over to this side again. So, what have we got here? We got mostly hulls on this side. So, this should be the most impressive one. Holes tend to capture the colour nice.
hanging lights and power tanks and lava that was so now we're going to go into the crystal set say how many cells have you got now how many what cells what's the cell count on these tables uh. well it'll be height plus width times four. Oh, oh, yeah yeah by, oh, height by, times width sorry yeah five by five by yeah yeah height width uh, depth I think of well adding that should be about ten Five by five by ten. What? Yeah. What are you talking about? Each, each of those cells is what you're asking. No, no. How many rows? Oh. Uh. You know what? I just kept building <laughs> until I filled it all in. I mean, on one face, how many rows? Yeah. Don't make me count them in the recording. Uh, 20, actually. 20. Uh, 20 by 20. So it's 20 by 20, which is 20 times 20, anybody? 400? Yeah? 20 and 20? 400? Uh, no? Oh god, you're making me do math early in the Is it? No? Is it not 400? Uh... Second, I should be able to pop this off the top of my head. Yeah, it's 400. Right, cool. And then times that by four. 400 times four. 400 times four, of course. Uh, 12. 15. I think it's 1200. Yeah. So that means 1200. So yeah, we've broken 1024 colors by quite a bit. Yay! So it's done. <laughs> I thought we could do it. I thought we could do it. Of course. You know what? And that's not even all the blocks. Yeah, it's That's, not. It's not all of them. So, if anyone's feeling, uh, feeling frisky and they want to go for it, go for it. <laughs> yeah, because you, you basically you've made the 1,024 colors. So, some of them might be the same, but they're just different shades or uh, strengths, which can be used in different ways. So yeah, fair play, mate. So there it is, the Swatch Revenge with uh, 0.156. Thank you very much, Morlock, for bringing it to show me. And uh, thanks, everybody, for watching. I will see you all next time.